and welcome to the Justice Institute of British Columbia Library. Located at the New Westminster campus, the library serves JABC students, staff, and faculty no matter where they are located. Spend a few minutes with us to learn about the key JABC library resources and services. Resources you have available to you include books, DVDs, audiobooks, print journals and magazines, and databases which include online articles and ebooks, case law, legislation, fire and building codes. You will need to contact the library for the username and password to access these online resources from off campus. You can also borrow laptops or iPads, connect to the wireless network, and book our fully equipped study rooms. Our collection includes everything from Aboriginal studies to threat management and many topics in between. And if we don't have what you need, ask us to bring it in through Interlibrary Loan. All students in a JABC program, JABC faculty, staff, and some professional groups may borrow from our library. Before you can borrow, you must register with the library. Visit us in person, call us, or email us, and we'll be happy to help you. We mail material to out-of-town students who are enrolled in a JABC program and we provide you with a prepaid mailing label to return the books to us. You can contact us by phone, email, or visit us in person at the New Westminster campus. And remember, if you are stuck and not finding what you need, the library staff is here to help you. Introducing the JIBC Library's Discovery Service, Search Me. Your initial quest for information will start from the main search box on the library website found at jibc.ca forward slash library. Search Me is the default tab where you will start your research. Your results will include books and DVDs in the catalog, journal articles, ebooks, streaming media, and more. Let's say you're looking for information on policing gangs. If you type policing gangs in the main Search Me box, you will be taken into our library discovery system. You will see that you get a lot of results, but they may not be exactly what you're looking for. Your results list may look something like this. If you are off campus, once you have done your search, you will see at the top of the screen JIBC login for full access. To access all features such as full text, subject headings, and folders, JBC off-campus users will need to log in with the username and password available from the library. Many students will have received this username and password during their library orientation. Once you have scanned your initial results list, here are some tips to help you find more relevant information. Check the subject terms in your initial results to see if you are on the right track and to get ideas for other terms to use. Once you find relevant subject terms, use the Select a Field drop-down box and choose Subject Terms to limit your search. And if you don't find relevant subject terms, you can stick with your original keywords without specifying the subject field. Use OR to find synonyms, for example, Police or Law Enforcement. Think of OR as MORE. Use quotation marks to find an exact phrase. For example, note the quotes around law enforcement. Use AND to narrow your results. Remember, the more words you AND together, the fewer results, but they will be more focused on your specific topic. Use the asterisk at the end of a word to find all endings of that word. Your search results may include books and DVDs in the catalog, articles, ebooks, and links to streaming media. You can also check out the source types in the left-hand sidebar for more limiters. Be sure to use the Show More options if you want to see all source types, such as ebooks, videos, and more. One of the best ways to limit your results is to use the Refine Results on the left-hand sidebar. You can limit to Catalog Only, which includes the JBC Library books and DVDs, Scholarly Journals, Full Text, and Publication Date. For now, let's limit our search to Full Text Scholarly Articles published from 2005 onwards. Note that your results are now much fewer than your original search, and they are much more relevant and on topic. 
Look for the PDF or HTML icon for full text. You can read an abstract or summary of the article by clicking on the article title. When you look through your results list, note that you can use the file folder icon beside each record to add the item to a folder. This is a temporary folder which remains active while you're using the database. The folder items will disappear after 15 minutes of inactivity. You can email your results to yourself from the folder, and you can go back to your results list by clicking on the back arrow. Remember that your initial search is just the beginning of your research and discovery. The right-hand sidebar provides you with other suggested resources that are not included in your initial search. These resources include some of our ebook and article collections, newspaper articles, streaming media, fire and building codes, case law, and legislation. Note that if you have added lots of limiters, some may not be carried over to the other resources. And if you are overwhelmed with results, you can always return to the main library page to access the library catalog, e-resources, subject guides, bibliographies, and more. On the main library page, you can also use the Articles tab or Journal Titles tab to search these collections separately. Explore Search Me to discover what your library has in store for you. In addition to a single search in Search Me or using the Articles tab or Journal Titles tab to search these collections separately, there are other ways to access the library resources. In the Find column on the library website, you will find direct access to the library catalog for books and media, as well as more e-resources, subject guides, and bibliographies. A quick search in our library catalog will find books, DVDs, and audiobooks that you can add to a list in order to print or email to yourself. Our e-resources provide you with a wealth of online information. For most of these e-resources, you will need to contact the library for the username and password for off-site access. Databases include full-text journal articles, full-text fire and building codes, case law and legislation, e-books, streaming media, e-newspapers for the full text of local and national papers. The subject guides are tailor-made for students taking courses from Aboriginal Studies to Law Enforcement, Threat Management, and more. If you're looking for ready-made lists of books and DVDs on over 60 topics, check the bibliographies. Under Getting Started, you will find direct links to an APA subject guide, as well as writing and study help. The Assignment Calculator lets you enter start and end dates for assignments, providing research tips along the way. You can even sign up to get email reminders. Ask Away is a real-time virtual chat reference service staffed by librarians from universities and colleges across BC. Ask Away is open most days until 9 p.m. and is open on Sundays. Now let's take a quick tour of the library. At the help desk you can register for borrowing, check out books, DVDs, and laptops or iPads, or book one of the fully equipped study rooms. All computers in the library print to one printer and a photocopier is also available. All library computers include Internet Access and Microsoft Office. If you need a USB key, you can borrow one from the library. There are tables for study and study rooms equipped with a computer, DVD VCR, laptop connections, a 40-inch LCD monitor, and a whiteboard. If you want to pick up one of our bibliographies or browse one of our journals, they are on display near the library entrance. And, of course, if you have any questions, come to the help desk and we will help you find what you need.